Hello everyone, Dr. Anna Kabeca here, the Girlfriend Doctor. Welcome to this episode of Getting Fit, the Keto Green 16 Way with one of my dear friends, mentors, colleagues, and inspirations, Deborah Atkinson. She is the founder of Flipping 50. Flipping50.com is her website. Flipping50 is her amazing podcast. And she's everywhere on Instagram, Facebook, you name it. But mostly she is right here with us right now, her fabulous self. Deborah, how are you? I'm so good. I'm excited. Are you ready? I am ready. I want to just share, want you to share with uh, my audience too. You have been through, you completed Keto Green 16. You had an advanced copy, went right into it and, uh, and, and just went at it. What did you experience? You know, and I loved it. First of all, I thought it was perfect for right now, for the moment that we're in. It was everything I needed. I had, um, you know, I know 2020 has not been the most kind to all of us, but I had a year from hell for 2019. So I um, just had a perfect storm with hormones and mold and moves and stress and gained some weight. And so, of course, you know, nobody wants that to hang around forever. And so several things I had changed, but you actually helped. Now, I don't have a scale at home, so I'm really excited to go back to the gym so I can weigh. <laughs> But it really helped and it made such a difference because it was immediately that I felt good. Immediately I was sleeping better. Immediately, I mean, all of the things that um, you associate with a diet did not come with it. I, I loved the way I was eating. I loved the way I was full and sated and um, I was adequately hungry. So I don't know if you experienced this, but when I'm coaching a lot of women, the complaint is, is that they're not hungry. They don't have a good appetite. And so I always look for that as a sign that I'm on the right path. If I've got a healthy appetite, meaning not too much, not too little, that Goldilocks. And that's really what I experienced while I was using Keto Green. And, you know, I love Mighty Maca. I'm just, I'm addicted now. So Thank you for that. <laughs> you are very welcome. You are very welcome. That's awesome. Well, I was so glad to hear that. I was excited because we were on a mastermind call and you're like, I'm on day three. I'm like, day three of what? I'm like day three of my plan. I'm like, yay. <laughs> I was prior to book release. I was so excited. I was like, yay. And so I'm so glad because, you know, really to see your results and you're such an influencer and, and so health conscious and motivated. And you've also made a video, a YouTube video about this exercise plan. So go ahead and share about that. Then y'all will get, get ready. We're going to get into it. We're going to exercise with the Deborah Atkinson, Flipping 50 Star. Absolutely. So thanks so much. We did. I just, we've talked so much about, you know, immunity and we all want a strong immune system right now. And I've talked so much about, you know, it's not just that moderate exercise, which has been the, the term coined back in the 80s and 90s, but it's really a moderate amount of low and moderate and high intensity exercise. So it's being smart about rotating and rotating what you're doing, just not overdoing it, doing more frequent but shorter workouts. Your workout fits so very perfectly into that, that I wanted to do it and show my audience, you know, 16 minutes, y'all. I mean, who doesn't have 16 minutes? If you take your phone into the bathroom, you can spend that much time and you don't even need to. So we're going to get some of that right now. <laughs> awesome. We're going to make a good use of 16 minutes. All yeah. right. And then you have you have a gift for our audience too. We'll, we'll say it again at the end, but I want you to share it. Yeah. 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 It's a five day flip is everything in my world is a flip. So it's flipping 50.com forward slash five, the number day flip. It's five short videos sent to you over a period of five days that encourage strength training, some cardio, some intervals, and a recovery day. So you're learning, I do have time, I can make this fit, and here's what it looks like to do a quick week. Awesome. Okay. So that's um, flipping50.com forward slash five, number five, day flip. Yeah, it's spelled out. Flipping 50 is spelled out at the website. Okay. But that would get you there. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, ready? All right. So I'll put that there in the um, chat box and we're ready. Okay. I'm going to start my timer. 
right now. And Brittany's going to join us for a few minutes here. Come on, Brittany. We're going to get a little beeping because that's going to keep us on time. But we can start early. So the first 30 seconds, you probably know this by heart. Do you have this tattooed on your arm or anything? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got you. Go ahead. We're just going to start with a mark. So in place, you can start doing any kind of movement, dancing around your living room, and do just a very brief 30 seconds. So I'm going to get back here on my tile. I've got a yoga mat right out here, too. And I've got two sets of dumbbells, but if you just have one, you're okay. If you have none, my suggestion would be, water bottles that someone gave you. I know you've got them put rocks, then sand and water in them. And you'll get to about four pounds. Okay. And then I've got tubing, we'll use that too. All right, next. So what we're gonna do is jumping jacks or jumping rope. And I'm gonna show jumping rope and I'm gonna show it this way. So this is low impact, the way I'm doing it. And I can do it this way. I'm still doing low impact. So if you notice my feet are on the floor, I can jump if I want to. But if you're feeling like that's a little bit too soon for me or that you want low impact, you're going to get those arms and legs moving at the same time. And you still elevate your center of gravity. It goes up and down, then so does your heart rate go up. And so right here, we're going to spin this around. And I'm going to do for a second. It's on page 162, our workout sequence in Keto Green 16. Page 162, you guys with your book, flip open, um, hold that page open, snapshot it, put it in your phone, and commit that to wherever you can squeeze in 16 minutes. I'm going to go down. So we're going to come down to a push up, and you're going to come down to the floor. If you're not sure that you can do a full push up, go to your knees. If you're feeling, I don't know if my shoulders can do a push up that way, you can do it here, elevate it. So you're nice and long, very tall. You've got lots of options. And this one is slow. This is a strength training exercise. So wherever you are, you want to make sure you've got great form. And for those of you that feel like you can't do a push up, you can do this with dumbbells and potentially lying on your back, pressing the dumbbells up, you may feel a little bit more as if you're in control, not so much weight coming out. So again, here it is against a wall. The further I put my feet, the more weight, if I want less weight, I'm gonna come in close. So you're gonna stand come up carefully and I want you to start marching. So in between, you're gonna go to rev that heart rate back up again. You've got little options. So you're really going to go here. You're going to pump those arms. They should be rotating, just dropping down from your shoulder like this is a pendulum. So when you're trying to charge up a hill, your arms are going to power your legs. So I want you to really go here. Now, if you feel like you can go a little bit more, let's exaggerate this. So we're going to march, but maybe just do high knees. So you're working a little bit harder if you actually need to elevate that heart rate a little bit more. And if you need to elevate it more, you're gonna talk. So you can hear me talking through breaths and it gets more strenuous when you're doing that. So in two seconds, we're gonna do squats. So I'm gonna put your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. I like to take mine really wide and do a plie squat. So I just sit here for a second Knees right over your heels, and then push up. So I want you to look at me, keep your chest high, and come down as low as you can, but all the creases happen at your ankles, your knees, and your hips. Your back stays nice and tall. Your shoulders are relaxed, and you're just pushing through your heels all the way down and up. Now, if you wanted a little bit more work, you can pick up one of those weights that you've got, and hold it right here. That way you're working a little bit harder yet and still get a great workout for your quadriceps, top of your thighs, your hamstrings, and your glutes, major muscle groups. Five seconds and we're gonna jump rope again. 
Ready? Here we go. So your choice. Are you going to do heels? Are you going to jump? Literally. Or are you going to air jump? Feet stay down, but I'm still making that jump rope around. Hold it up to you. Back and forth. You can go side to side. Heels. Take that to you. But you're going to keep that going. You've got about 30 seconds. So I want you to be working hard. Get a glimpse of that breath. Then you can do it for 20 more seconds. So you're still moving. The next up exercise is bicycle triple. So you can be ready. 10 seconds. Keep going. <laughs> Been watching me. <laughs> <laughs> and two set curls. So if you have two big, you can pick that up. If you have dumbbells, you can pick them up instead. With the two big, you're going to put it right under both feet. Elbows are in close, and then you're going to go right here. Now, I want you to notice I bent my knees on purpose so I can put my weight back on my heels. Now I can brace myself and not risk arching that back, okay? So good form, really important. Stay right here, elbows in. And if you've got that tubing, I want you to keep going. Keep going. If you don't have the tubing, you're here with your dumbbells. Palms are up. Elbows are in. Same kind of form. Weight on my heels. Slight bend of my knees. And then I'm holding that up, just slow and controlled, but constant movement. Okay, put those down. Tubing or the dumbbells, either one. Move them off to the side. We need to pick that back up. We're gonna jump rope. Now, I think there's something brilliant about the order of those exercises because our arms are a little fatigued, but now we're using them again with this jump rope. So that's a good thing. We're gonna reach fatigue by the end of 16 minutes easily, even though it's only 16 minutes, because we strategically put the exercises in a certain order, right? So remember, you're choosing here your level of impact. Just the heels, maybe the jump that's not really off the floor, or literally, the jump that moves, totally up to you. And you can change your mind in between, but keep moving. Okay, take that out. Triceps. We're gonna do a dip. I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you an alternative. So in a dip, you can do it on a flat, or I'm gonna stair step right here, and I'm gonna show you on a flat. You can do this against a chair. You can do it here. You can do it. Elevated with arms on the chair, on the floor, or right down just on the floor. Now, if I lift my hips, I'm working even harder. If I straighten my legs, I'm working even harder. Now, if you got shoulder issues or elbow issues, that one may not feel good. Here's another alternative. You're going to bend here. You can also sit down. Your chest is long. Elbows stuck out and your weight's on your heels. And you're doing what we call a tricep kickback. So just press and release and try to keep that neck relaxed. Okay. Triceps are done. You're going to come back to a march. <laughs> now, okay. my dog will hear that. We may have a, a little barking thing going on. Here we go. <laughs> so marching right here. Now. Marching right now may not feel like very much exercise. So if not, let's do high knees. So if you need more, you're here. And I really want you to go here. So lift, lift. I know you guys who were back in the 80s, aerobics, queens, that's not this. I want you to really pull, pull, pull. And if you need to get that heart rate up a little bit more, push up, okay? Take those arms. And press it up. Nice job. We're gonna do side lunges next, which I love. And here we go. So hands on your hips. This will help you with balance. You're gonna move to the side, 
them in and then come out to the opposite side. So let me talk to you a little about form. As you come over to one side, this leg in the center is straight. You're gonna feel a little stretch through your inner thigh on that leg. When you step off to the side, you're yeah. the leg to the weight carrying at your heel. Mm -hmm. You can do that, so check in there. Weight's on your heel, so we're using your bum no, to not put pressure on your knees. Chin up, chest high, good. And then really power off that foot. Push that floor away. Power back in. Power to the middle. Weight on your heel. Land with the weight on your heel. One more on each side. Next, we're going right back to your jump rope. Pick it up for real or your air jump rope. Okay? It's like air guitar, right? Here we go. Your choice. You're going to do quick feet or you're going to keep that a little lower impact. You're going to jump or you're going to do that a little higher impact. You have choices all the way through. Side to side with your feet. Nice work. Are you breathing? How are you two doing over there? Are you talking? <laughs> we are muted myself so you didn't hear the slam of the jump. Are you doing good? Breathing or couldn't hear the dog? All right, breathe in. All right, playing over here. You have 12 points left right here, and then we're going to go to an overhead press or shoulder press. For the belt right now. So if you have two big, here's what it looks like. You're gonna grab that two underneath the arch of your foot so we know it's secure. And I want you to bend a little bit lower. Crouch down. If you're really tall, you're gonna to want to crouch down more. <laughs> so here's why. You're gonna push up and overhead. Now I want you to be careful of arching the back, all right? So this is as much a core exercise as it is a tubing exercise. But I also want you to see what I'm doing. Keep your elbows in. It's a lot less stressful to your shoulders. And if you can keep this going, please do. If you're comfortable with it, keep going. If you're not, grab your dumbbells. You're gonna hold them in exactly the same way but you can alternate them. And I've got my knees again bent on purpose so that I'm not tempted to arch back. So this will happen easily unless you're thinking about it not happening, okay? Take those weights, bring them down. You're gonna march in place and we're gonna move it around this time. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Let's bring it up. One, two, three and up. One, two, three, knee. Good, now try this. If you feel like you're great, you're doing fine, you need to work a little harder because we're almost done, I want you to hop on that knee. So it's one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. And if you'd rather march in place, and that's it, that's your game today, you stay there. Because here's the deal, you go home with you, not me, not Dr. Anna, right? So you know you. But get a little breathless, okay? Without a mask, it's good, okay? Hold here. Now, bent over row. I'm gonna have you grab your dumbbells again. I'm gonna go for a little heavier here. And I can stand or I can sit down. So I want you to hold here, elbows in close to your side, chest forward, and your chin tucked in a little bit. What I want you to notice about my hips and my lower back is that I am not rounded. I'm really sticking that out. I know it's not politically correct, but it is much better for your back. You're using your glutes and you're keeping that lower back safe. Core is nice and tight, so that little power, and then slowly lower that down. Pull up, and then lower down. Pull up, and then down. You're doing great. If you don't have dumbbells right now, those water bottles will work, or you could do this with tubing. And then this comes down, jump rope. 
You're so close to the end. So let's see this all the way up. This is your last high interval. Does that help? Deb, this is awesome. All right, he can. We have one more exercise after this one, and that is going to be for the core. So hang in here. Your choice. Remember, you don't have to be jumping. You can be taking those heels out. You can be simply bending the knees. And your center of gravity, if it's going up and down, you're working. Okay? So gauge by how hard am I breathing? A seven, eight, nine out of 10. It's about where you want to be right now. 15 seconds. Let's go. So we're going to sprint. You're at the finish line. You're not going to look at how hard you're breathing. Just go. Go hard. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And come down to the floor. Okay? We're going to do a little core exercise. Now, and it does not know, I don't love crunches. However, if I'm going to do them, here's how I do them. I'm going to take either a cloth or a towel behind my head. I'm going to lie back. And in this case, I'm going to use my mat as that cloth. So I'm carrying the weight of my head with that. And all I'm really focusing on is bringing my ribs close to my hips very slowly. Exhale up and then down. Small range of motion. But the entire time, my head and neck are relaxed. I'm just literally cradling and carrying my head up. So my focus can be all right here. Lower back down. And this way there's no pressure on either my lumbar spine or on my neck, my cervical spine. Exhale up and bring it down. Exhale up. We're gonna do five more. You stop if you need one. Okay, you need a break. Three more, two more, one more. Carry that head safely down. You're going to roll to your side. Bring yourself up to a standing pose and march to the very end. You have about 30 seconds. We cool this down. So while you're marching here, you can take a breath in, lengthen up, and exhale. And start thinking about how awesome it was that you did that. Just that little break. Whether this is your morning exercise or this is a little break in the middle of your day. Either way, you've boosted your metabolism. You've boosted your immune system and your oxytocin and your mood. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, thank you. Deborah, what, um, how often do you recommend doing like this workout? Because we want to not necessarily work the same muscles every day, but yet this is quick and burst. It so is. Recommend. I, would, I would use this as a default all the time. I would, this is like in your bag of tricks. Like, you know, sometimes we have a plan A and we have to have plan B always there. When you're traveling, you're running late, you slept late, didn't mean to. This is, I can get it because I think the value of that is I am somebody who exercises regularly. I am consistent and you keep your promise to yourself. So always, I think, be able to pull this one out, but then get some variety. And I think what you've done in the layout in the book is given everybody Here's the plan. You could go to that and say, instead of this exercise, I'm going to slip in this one today. Instead of this tricep exercise, I could do a different tricep exercise. And you could alternate and do every one of them could be a core exercise. So you can change it up, but you got the template. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you. And and inspire. I know you're. We're on a timeline here, and you've got to run. But inspire for those that aren't used to exercising, that it's not in our habit, or even like me, out of the habit because the gym's been closed. And 
even my uh, little time at the gym, we had a we had a trainer come to our office a couple days a week. So all of that has has um, dropped by the wayside. It's opening back up, but mm-hmm. we're out of the habit. What's your motivating solution? I love how you said I exercise my body regularly. Like you just say, okay, this has to fit into this is my principle. But yeah, I think you know. I'm often asked that question, you know, how do I stay motivated? How do I get motivated? And I think really you've got to dig a little deeper and, you know, I don't know, I've been married, I've had children. I wasn't always motivated to get up and be mom or to be married. Right. But I was committed. And I think that's the difference. The word we're looking for is committed. Mm -hmm. If you, if you really want to feel better, to look better, be committed to it. And then one of the things I like to use is the 10 minute rule. You know, we've talked about adrenal fatigue earlier today, and sometimes that's a truth, but sometimes I think we let ourselves get by with maybe, maybe it's not the truth. So go for 10 minutes, whatever you're going to do a walk, you're going to do um, what we've just done for 10 minutes. Promise yourself that if after 10 you don't feel better and you're not glad you started, you potentially do need a rest day and that's okay. Be okay with that. Just promise yourself 10 minutes and do what you need to, whether it's music or a friend or make a phone call while you're doing it, listen to your podcast. That's one of the things I've been doing and loving and then assess and keep going nine out of 10 times the oxytocin and the serotonin kick in and you feel better. And no one ever said, I'm so sorry I did this. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so right. I say, if we rely on motivation, we're setting ourselves up for failure, but commitment, committing to the principles and disciplines that we know will work that commitment is it's great. I love the way you said that. Just commit even that 10 minutes and see where you're at. We can all do that. I want to hear from our audience. Just go ahead and shout out. Yes, I'm in. Type it in. Um, share with me. And Deborah, tell us um, more about your program and how our listeners and, and viewers can work with you as well. Yeah, well, an easy way to get started. We talked about earlier the flipping50.com five-day flip. For those who are thinking, okay, I need to get started or restarted, right? Because we've we've been too close to the pantry, let's face it, while we're at home or takey outy, and uh, we need to kind of recommit. That's a great way to get started and convince yourself, you know, I do feel better when I do this. I'm a big believer of strength training for women over 40 and over 50 to maintain that lean muscle mass and make sure that you're reaching muscular fatigue, not just fatigue at the end of a workout. So there's a huge difference and we can actually feel good during it, after it, and look forward to doing it. We need to lose that idea that we have to feel like we could wring ourselves out at the end of a workout. So strength training is a big one. I love that. So say, for example, with a strength training exercise for our legs or what would one of that give us an example? Yes. So so let me give two of my favorites and I'm going to give two alternatives because anybody here potentially is, uh, you know, we get up in the morning and sometime after 40, it's like, okay, I'm going to check my knees and check my shoulders. Is it going to be a good day? Right. We have to kind of know that we've lived a good life. We've had a lot of fun. We've played a lot of sports. We've done some things and we may not always feel good. So my two favorite lower body exercises for boosting the metabolism, getting the tone and the condition we want squats and lunges, all varieties of lunges. You did one here. We did the side squat or side lunge. Love that. Um, But for those who can't, who say, well, I can't because maybe it's knees, hips. And some people will say it's it's arthritis in that big toe and I can't do those lunges, side lunges do work, but using a ball to do bridges and hamstring curls, mm. take pressure off knees and hips, but allow those major muscle groups to be worked even at home. I love it. 
Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. And again, it's flipping50.com, 50 spelled out, 50.com. Thank you so much, Deborah, for being with us today. I appreciate you. Thanks for going through this exercise of being part of our Keto Green community and sharing your video. I'll post your YouTube video and share that with our um, groups as well. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun working out with you, sister. That's always good working out with you. Thank you. You're such an inspiration. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, everyone here, thank you for being with us and watching us here. And I encourage you to go ahead and do it. And I want you to post under this video your success and just check in every day that you have done your workout. So do it with us here, 16 minutes. We can all do this. Lainey says, I've done the workout a few times and love it. The jump rope is a challenge, but I'm gonna keep at it. I can talk myself into it, 16 minutes. Does not feel overwhelming. Perfect. That's the goal. So thank you guys. And thanks for being here, part of our community. Till next time. Bye.